Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Duck and Hippo Give Fix. This book is written by Jonathan London and illustrated by Andrew Joyner. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover, and this is the spine. And let's see what the spine says. Duck and Hippo Give Fix. Okay, friends, let's get started. Duck and Hippo Give Fix. Duck and Hippo give thanks. This is the title page. It was almost Thanksgiving and the leaves were still tumbling. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Hippo was raking the leaves into a huge pile and dreaming of a good old fashioned Thanksgiving. Oh, I see mashed potatoes and corn and green beans and carrots and squash and an apple pie and a pumpkin pie. A white blur threw through the air. Whee! Oof. And flopped right into the middle of Hippo's pile. What was it? A head popped up. It was Duck. Duck, Duck, cried Hippo. What are you doing? I'm jumping into a pile of leaves, said Duck. It's fun. Why don't you try it? I'm trying to make the pile all nice and tidy, Hippo said with a huff. He doesn't look too happy about Duck ruining his pile, does he? Bonk. Just then, an apple fell on Hippo's head. Hippo rubbed his head, polishing the apple and handed it to Duck. For you, he said. Thanks, Hippo, Duck said. Speaking of giving thanks, said Hippo, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Let's celebrate together. Yes, said Duck, I'll help. And let's invite all our friends. To get ready for the feast, Duck and Hippo went shopping. Here it says, Elephant's Market, and there's Elephant. Duck said, I want to ride in the basket. She grabbed food as they zoomed down the aisles. Whee! Faster, squealed Duck. Then Duck jumped out and Hippo squeezed in, but the shopping cart wouldn't budge. And when Hippo tried to squeeze out, I'm stuck, cried Hippo. And here, Duck is trying to push the cart. Arr, arr. But Hippo's too heavy for the cart and for Duck to push. No problem, boomed Elephant. He lifted Hippo out. There he is. Thank you, Elephant, said Duck and Hippo, and Duck invited him for Thanksgiving. Delighted, boomed Elephant. Hippo wanted some crusty bread for their good old-fashioned Thanksgiving, so Duck and Hippo got in line at the bakery. Turtle was ahead of them. There they are right there. You go first, said Turtle, and take your time, take your time. Thank you, Turtle, cried Duck and Hippo, and Duck invited him for Thanksgiving. Terrific, said Turtle. By now, Duck and Hippo were so hungry, they went to Pig's Pizza and they each ate a slice of pig's special pizza of the day. There's pig over there making some pizzas. Thank you, pig, said Duck and Hippo, and Duck invited her for Thanksgiving. Yummy, cried pig, I can't wait. Back at Hippo's house, Hippo said, oh, there's so much to do for a good old fashioned Thanksgiving. So Duck went out and gathered leaves. She just couldn't help jumping in. Whee! Hippo went out and gathered pumpkins. quack a doodle doo cried Duck, sitting on a pumpkin. I laid an egg. That's so silly. That's not an egg, that's a pumpkin. Then Duck gathered acorn squashes. Let me help you, Duck, said Hippo. Lastly, Duck and Hippo gathered apples and headed back inside. Well, we have leaves and pumpkins and acorns squash and some apples. But they bumped into each other at the door. What? 
Hippo bowed and said, after you, dear duck. Wow, look at all the pumpkins and the acorn squash going everywhere. Then together, they decorated the table with leaves and squashes and perfect little pumpkins. When they were done, duck did a dance on the tabletop and sang, ta-da. See you tomorrow, she said, jumping off. That night, Hippo went to sleep and dreamed of a good old fashioned Thanksgiving. Wow, it looks like there's cranberry sauce and squash and pumpkin pie. And there's even an apple pie and there's stuffing. Before Duck went to bed, she told her friends, let's make something special for Hippo. Look, they're at Pig's Pizza. Here it says, Pig's Pizza, today's special pumpkin and pickle. I wonder what the surprise is going to be. The next day, Hippo was busy. He baked a good old-fashioned apple pie and a good old-fashioned pumpkin pie and a good old-fashioned acorn squash. And his house filled with a good old-fashioned smell. There's a smell. You could kind of see it drifting off the food. He couldn't wait for his good old-fashioned Thanksgiving to begin. There's a squash and some pumpkin pie and it's apple pie and there's some peas and there's some gravy. And look how beautifully the table is decorated. And here he has all his friends. He has turtle, he has elephant, pig and duck. And a picture of hippo with duck. But it was getting late. Hippo looked out the window. The full harvest moon was rising over the trees. Night had come, but where, oh, where were Hippo's friends? Here we are, cried Duck, and they piled into Hippo's house. Sorry we're late, but we were all finishing up a special surprise for you. I wonder what it could be, thought Hippo. Hippo's friends each had something to offer. Turtle brought Chinese egg roll. Elephant brought sea cucumber sushi. Pig brought pizza napolitana. And duck brought peanut butter and jelly tacos. Surprise! Wow, look at all the cool food that they brought. But does Hippo look happy? Not really, does he? This is not a good old fashioned Thanksgiving feast, thought Hippo. But then he looked at the smiling faces of all his dear friends. They look pretty happy, don't they? He spread his arms wide and said, welcome. And thank you for being who you are. Hooray, everyone shouted. Look at all that delicious food that they brought. Then they all gathered around the table and held hands. Duck and Hippo gave thanks for their friends for being together and for sharing nature's bounty. Let's eat cried pig. And it was a big, happy Thanksgiving feast. The best Thanksgiving ever. And when they were done, Duck said, and now let's go outside and jump in the leaves. And look, here they are all jumping in the leaves and they're having a really good time. The end. This book was called Duck and Hippo Give Thanks. Thanks for joining us for Storytime, friends, and I'll see you next time.